Of course I am. Are you guys okay? No, we're dead. Sorry. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> they could hear anxious voices, muffled but distinct, from the other side of the door. Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. They heard a relief sighs, and even though the door... Even through the door, the three men could feel the tension disperse. All right, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Don't get yourselves killed. Okay. Please. Sure thing. And they're gone. They heard footsteps moving away, and before long, they were all alone again. Now. Junpei looked around. Doesn't look like we can go any further this way. The hallway ended roughly 20 or 30 feet from where they stood. Maybe this wall can be moved. I mean, there's a door right there. Or not. <sighs> it's not budging. Hey, there's a door over there. <laughs> yeah. To the left, however, was a wooden door that looked positively inviting by comparison. First class, hell yeah, I picked the right place to go. In the middle of it was a plaque that read first class. A first class cabin, huh? Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? All right, then. Let's go. I mean, uh, can we look at the dead guy first? Yeah. Without hesitation, Snake opened the door and stepped inside. Seven followed closely behind him. Junpei moved to follow them as well, but... Oh. He stopped, just shorted the threshold, and looked back, not knowing why. I don't want to look, but... Lying in the small hallway was a man's body, or at least what was left of it. He tried hard to avoid looking at the grisly scene, but it just wouldn't leave his mind oh, it's so horrible I, I can't even tell what's what there's got to be something there there's got to be some clues maybe he has a note on him what had been once been a man's internal organs now looked like mu so much vomit as though something had chewed up and spit out the better part of his torso it was hideous but worse still it was cruel it was hard to believe the thing on the floor had once been human the black pool of thick blood the lumps of glistening flesh spread across the floor. The awkward, twisted angle of shredded intestines. The head re wrenched to some grotesque, unnatural position. He'd been wearing these. <laughs> yeah. The man's glasses lay next to his he head. The lenses were cracked and the frame bent and distorted. And next to the glasses lay a bracelet, the number nine still displayed on its face. The bracelet's off. Oh, wait. Zero did say. Lastly, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, more happily, which is zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the bricks out of the mirror's heartbeat has fallen to zero, the bracelet comes off when you're dead. Oh, but what the hell's the point of getting it off when you end up like this? I don't know. Oh, just imagining how it must have happened. This was a human. <laughs> Suddenly Junpei felt, felt his stomach convulse, and a knot of muscle gripping his throat. Oh god, oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, I gotta get out of here. He clapped his hands over his mouth and ran to the first ca class cabin. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? The atmosphere changed immediately. The room was gorgeous, and despite the apparent age of the ship, none of the worse for wear. Huh, where, where did they... He looked around. Seven and Snake were nowhere to be seen. There were two doors on the right side of the room. He hoped he opened the one on his right and went through. Through here? Oh my god, there's so many goddamn doors. On the other side of the door was a short hallway. He jogged down the hallway, opened the door at the other end, and peeked through. Oh, hey. There they were to his right, busy examining something. Ooh. Hmm. What's up? He stepped through the door and walked toward them. Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? Yes. So I would assume. <laughs> yes. Even though he probably can't tell what light it is. Is there any other way out? 
We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door? Yes. We won't be going anywhere. Junpei stepped away from the door and looked around the room. This looks like a bedroom. Then the other room is probably a living room. Or the closest you can get to one on a ship. True. All right, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. Duh. Oh, there's so many rooms. Oh, my God. Seek a way out. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking die. Oh, my God. There's so many rooms. Oh, my God. Start with this one. Okay. Just I need the map. I need to know where I am. So, search this room. I'll go in here. Go to the bathroom. Go in here. Well, the closet. And then work my way to the ba bedroom. There's some sort of uh, sort of antique desk. Makes sense, though, I guess. This whole room's uh, full of antiques. You could get a nice handful of cash for all the stuff in here. Somebody spent a lot of time carving the legs of the chair on this chair. It'll snap like a twig if seven sits on it, though. Mind your business. Old-fashioned desk. Adds a little class to the room. Is this a cover for something? Looks like you could slip in something into it, and there's nothing in there. Well, it says score on the front. So you think this was for uh, filling sports scores or something? No, I don't think so. I think score probably means a uh, musical score. So this is like a folder for some sheet music or something. Okay, can't take it. Same thing, it says score on this paper. I guess you put sheet music in it. Sheet music is burning. There's an iron gate in front of the fireplace. There's something behind it. Grab it. There's something behind it. Damn it. So I have to find a way to... The fireplace, huh? I don't see one of these too often. There are a lot of people these days with real fireplaces and real fires. Got it. The fireplace. This couch looks big enough for three people. Looks perfect for me. What? Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. The couch looks a lot more elegant. Hey, there's something you ain't say aren't saying. Uh, never mind. Anything in here? I get it. You're gonna use this vase, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. We just gotta fill this thing with water. Oh, okay, to put out the fire. Okay. If I go through this door, it'll take me to the closet. It's in here. Score plate a G. It's in here. This is UK made of leather, uh, the color of rich mahogany. Oh shoot. Looks like there's nothing in it. It's a leather suitcase. Dang, nothing in here. Uh, I can't go in there anymore. So, close that. Let's go ahead and go back to this. It's a cover for a musical uh, thing sitting on a table. It says score on this paper. I guess you put sheet music in it. Hey, Junpei, where are you going? Didn't we come out of that door? No point going back there. All that's out there is a lock number door and a dead body. Or what's left of it. Yeah. Okay, which one is which? To my right will be the bathroom. Or at least just the toilet. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or the tank. Really? It's a toilet. Nothing strange going on here. Anything over here? There's some toilet paper on the wall there. Nothing that looks suspicious. Strange. What's going here? Oh, water. And get the vase and fill it with water. And the bathtub's full of gross, cloudy water. Alright. Shouldn't be too hard to fill this vase up. Here. Vase filled with water. Man, this water is dirty. Can't see more than four inches or so. Can't see anything down there. Hmm. Do you think? Think what? Drain it. There's a plug at the end of this chain. Alright, why don't we just drain this water? Yeah, good plan. Alright, where's that thing? Good tug ought to be enough to get it out. Huh? 
Oh. Thank you for score plate D. So I have a G and D. Shit, that's a lot. There's nothing in the bath of anymore. Well, just ain't clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. We've got the faucet all on the on all the way, but can't hear anything. Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all here. I just flew in from North New York, and a boy are my are my arms tired. Yes, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. It's not a mic seven. It's just a shower head. What? What the hell? Oh my god. The lights, huh? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything hidden in there here. Okay, a mirror. Nope. Seems like everything. So let's go back. Put out this fire. Got a vase filled with water. It's heavy. I can't just throw it at the grate though. I gotta pour the water right onto the fire itself. It's a fireplace. Uh, can I take this now? It says a score on the card. I guess you put G music in it. G. Set a score on the paper, I guess you put G's. I have a score plate, though. Fuck me, then. Let's go into the main room, then. Piano. What's this? This isn't a score. Is this a map of the ship? A map? There's a map of the ship here? Yeah. Then I imagine it will prove very helpful. You'd best hold on to it, Junbei. Okay. It is now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. While on the map screen, you can examine a floor of the ship, uh, map of the sh ship's floor plane, which will you will acquire over the course of the story. Clicking the green parts of the floor plane will allow you to see a bird's eye view of the room. A piano keyboard. What is Snake doing? He can't play, can he? This piano, there's something amiss with the keys. You mean it's out of tune or something? No, 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 that, not that. It's properly tuned, just. Well, the sounds are clearly purposely different. The C key doesn't yield a C, but rather a different note entirely. The same goes for the D keys. They play some other note. Uh, why do you think it's that, like that? It's pain, isn't it painfully obvious? Zero modified it in some way. This piano, you see, is part of one of the puzzles Zero has set for us. Perhaps if we play the keys in the correct order, something will happen. In other words, you need to play a song on the piano. I believe so. Hmm. Anything in here? An upright piano. From the feel of the wood, it, mu it must be quite old. Sure doesn't seem like a much these days. These keys are all messed up. Oh yeah, that's right. I got that score plate earlier. Music stand. Well, might as well put this glass plate on it. Oh, um... Is something wrong? It's kind of hard to see the notes. Maybe if I put something under them. Hmm. Background for the notes. Still at the table with the mirror. Oh yes, you know that sort of th is no uh, that sort of thing is known as a vanity. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Yes. Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. As such, you could see that say that every day when a woman looks into one of these. She's staring at her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? Hmm. Can I still, like, open it? An antique vanity. Nothing in the drawer. Yep, totally empty. A bed. Over here. Hey! A bed with a canopy. I've seen things like this in the movies and stuff, but never in real life. True, you don't see too many of these day these days. I can't see the details, but obviously, but I imagine it's one of those princess beds Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of the these? Yes. She wants a princess bed? Didn't I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Ah, Junpei, judge her by appearances, will you? Ah, oh, well, you should not. And well, you should not. Score plate A. God, too many. Can I combine these? No. It took Junpei by surprise. Snake, usually so calm and collected, suddenly began to move. Mm. He stared about the room almost frantically, clearly looking for something. No, Junpei thought not staring. Obviously. After all, he's blind. 
Thanks, Junpei. Blind or not, Snake was clearly attempting to do so something. At last, Junpei could no longer contain his curiosity. What's wrong? You got weird all of a sudden. Snake waited a moment before answering. I heard something strange. Something strange? Snake, what, uh, Seven, what the fuck did you do? Ah, oh, well, never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I notice even the slightest of noises. How many fingers am I holding up, Dickless? Right. Are you gonna tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? Yes. <laughs> no. Such a thing would be impossible. However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. Well, I mean, that's kind of loud. So that was... Hmm. Yes, I could hear it happening. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. Well, just because you're blind doesn't mean I don't think you can run as fast. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. Well, I don't know about that, buddy. Oh, really? Huh, really? <laughs> Junpei punches him in the face. Oh, yeah, he did really well. I'm sorry about that. <coughs> Junpei was somewhat taken aback by this re revelation. He stared at Snake, skeptical. You don't believe me, do you? Care to give it a try? Sorry, I don't like beating up the, hand <laughs> the, the physically disabled. I must warn you. You'll no doubt regret it. Uh... Uh -huh. Well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, shall we? Slaps him upside the head. Yeah, I didn't see that coming now, did you, dickass? Get the fuck out of here. With a small self-satisfied smile, Snake turned around and walked away from Junpei. Dick. A white desk. Feels kind of fancy. Anything in it? A white desk. Feels kind of fancy. It's a small round chair. Looks like it probably goes to the vanity. Anything under the bed? Large bed with a canopy. Man, this makes me miss my own bed and sleep. Uh, God. Is there any? I can't see the notes very well with the glass being so transparent. If I just had something solid underneath. Wow. Oh, I can go into this one. Oh, there's a little safe. The safe is locked. It's one of those dial locks. It doesn't have a key. You just need to get the dials in the right place and it'll open. Do you see it? Find anything, Seven? Nope. How about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Huh. Shit. Oh, more music. God, I have almost all of them, actually. C, D, A. Need a couple more. Leather suitcase. There's nothing inside. I can tell by the weight, and it makes no noise when shaken. It's a leather suitcase. Unfortunately, there's nothing inside. It's a safe with a dial lock on it. We won't be able to open it with, until we know the right numbers. There's nothing in here. Uh, it's a light switch. Nothing happens when I press it. Can I give this now? It says score. It says score on this paper. Guess he put sheet music in it. Take it! Oh my god, take the fucking thing. Can I do anything over here? There's an expensive looking chair. Uh, change it to A? The score, I guess. Uh, it's an iron grate in front of the thing. There's something behind it. Move the iron gate! Great. Hey Junpei, what's this? Thinker. By August Rodin. Right on. Huh. All right, time to put this fire out. Oh, I was gonna move the gate first, whatever. About time, buddy, let's do it. Here we go. Haha, <laughs> good job. Another success. That fire didn't stand a chance. Give me that. All right, let's pull this out now. Don't wanna get burned, so let's pull down my the sleeves. Score plate, oh, thank God. Shunpei tucked the plate into his pocket. Oh. <clears throat> You okay there, buddy? Seven cried out and stumbled, his balance lost. 
He threw out a hand and caught the wall in time to steady himself and avoid the floor, but his face was flushed and lo he looked startled. Hey, Seven, what the hell was that? Are you alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. Man, you okay, buddy? Seven rubbed a couple fingers across his brow and then shook his head as if to clear it. What the hell is wrong with me? First memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for no reason. Memory loss? <sighs> Memory loss? Yeah, thank you. Junpei couldn't hide his surprise in his voice. Seven, for his part, seemed unconcerned. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Damn. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? Probably got hit in the head. Probably because the gas wasn't enough to take him down. He's a huge dude. If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I guess that's true. Junpei paused for a moment and started at, stared at Seven. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you've really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? I've just come to accept it. Well... Sure, I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck, but that was a while ago. I've had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. That's how I would uh, treat it, actually. After all, why worry about something I can't change? That's a very good philosophy. Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. <laughs> Hopefully. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. But that's... that's it? That's it. Uh... All right, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. Seven gave Junpei a look. The younger man wasn't sure how to interpret and walked away. How are you fine with something like that? Somehow, though, Junpei didn't find his reassurance very reassuring. Now give me the stupid sheet. Now give me the fucking scorecard. I guess he put sheet music on it. Okay, I guess I can't just fucking take it. Whatever, 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 whatever. Going back in here. A music stand. Seems as good a place as any to put this music sheet on. Just gotta put the ceramic plate on the bottom. And then stack the glass plates on top of it. Alright, good. Sweet! Now I can play this music. Junpei, would you be so kind as to play the piano? I'm unable to... see. Oh, I'm not unable to. You see. I'm sure I needn't tell you, but... The keys on this piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully to determine which keys to strike. Do you understand? Yeah. Alright, let's give this a shot. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck. Me. I don't know what the musical keys are. Oh, hey, I guessed right. God, I don't play piano, I don't play piano, so it'll be one up, well, two up, so here. Fuck. That was right. Ooh, wait, what are these? Oh. No. Fuck! And that one was, like, really high up. Oh, it'll be the same as this one. This one will be this one. This one, and this one. Shh, not that one. This one, this one, this one, that one, that one, that one. Fuck me! God damn it. This is gonna be a while. Okay, wait, what are these? Okay, and that one's just lower, so I don't even have to use that one. Okay. Fuck. This is gonna be a while. This is gonna be a really, really long time. Oh, 
But what the fuck? Oh my god. I keep fucking up on that last one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's this one. No, it's not. It's that one. This one. Thank Christ. Oh. And we're done. Music is not my forte. Wait. What was that sound? Junpei. We did it. Looks like it worked. I heard something unlock over by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. Stand. Bow. Be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake of Late thinks it's funny. <laughs> yes, I suppose that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine what that's what Zero was thinking of, however. No, no, Zero. Almost certainly meant to suggest Westminster, not middle school. Westminster? The palace in Lust London that plays host these days to the House of Parl Houses of Parliament. You've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? Big Ben plays the very collection of notes on the hour. London. The capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. Hmm. Huh. Oh yeah, time to go. I fucking won. All right, let's go. I'm home free, yes! Found. I found it, hell yeah!